So the reason I'm making this video this week is for a very important purpose. A couple of weeks ago here in Phoenix, there was a lady who was brutally attacked by a guy with a baseball bat. She was walking down a trail in the Phoenix area and a guy kind of came out of nowhere with a baseball bat who was high on drugs, on acid, on crystal meth, and just beat the heck out of her. And so I was thinking to myself, what would I advise my mom to do in a situation like that? What would I want my mom to actually carry so that she could be protected if she was ever attacked by someone on drugs like that? So the first item I started thinking about was pepper spray. For someone who's never trained in self-defense before, who doesn't know how to use weapons properly, pepper spray is really the most obvious solution. And we carry a whole bunch of different pepper sprays, but this one in particular is the one I advise my mom to use. This is a hidden blade pepper spray otherwise known as strike and spray. And what's unique about it is it has this little hidden blade at the bottom of it. And uh, it's also got this kind of hand strap that makes it comfortable to carry if you're hiking. But what's great about it is let's say someone just comes out and attacks you out of nowhere and you had no time to get the pepper spray ready and spray them from a distance. You have this little blade that you can use to strike them out of the way and then spray them with the pepper spray. Or if you spray them with the pepper spray and they're still coming at you, you have the ability to use a strike with the blade to push back your attacker. So in my opinion, this is an awesome weapon and it's taken pepper spray to a whole new level. So this would be the weapon that I'd advise my mom to use if she was actually hiking in an area where she could be attacked. 